What is going on guys? Today we are looking at team of the season Gomis, the four star skiller freestyle weak foot with the six foot height. He is right footed with the high low work rates and solid player and power header. Obviously his head and accuracy, I could kind of guess from that trait that he was going to have incredible head and accuracy. Being six foot, very strong, obviously stamina, 83 will do, 84 jump in's nice. We've got good acceleration and sprint speed on him. Obviously we have gone for that engine due to the fact that his shooting is up there. 92 on the base with 94 shot power and finishing with 90 attacking positioning is absolutely fantastic. We've got very, very good short passing. We've got long passes, okay. Good for a striker, to be honest. Agility balance, again with the engine, will be even better with the 87 agility and 91 balance. We've got cracking composure, very, very good ball control. Dribbling goes up to 98 and 88 reaction. So for me, he's going to be that tall unit. Maybe you could whack him as more of a center forward, maybe assisting a, a kind of more of a quicker, smaller striker. But I'm interested to see what this guy can do. He's 89 rated. He's French. He's got the competition of Edouard. Let's see who is better into Gomez for his first touch of the ball making that run already very very big unit try and go again we're getting blocked off this time and the guy loves to pass it around but he does seem like he's going to get his body around quite nicely as this guy literally okay I thought he was stopping playing there ball over the top Oblak's going to come and pick it up can we get it back into him we are going to try and get that head in as much as we can because with that 90, oh, we go way, way far out for him. Into Gomez. Going to flick it onto his left. Just managing to get that AI block. Literally, the ball is absolutely flying in his box. Gomez making that interception. Seems like he's a, it's a bit about him on the on his feet. He seems very, very confident in terms of that strength ability. So I'm interested to really kind of get a good run with him. At the moment, we've only had a couple of like spouts if anything the defenders have been able to to kind of stop him due to just the positioning of where i've actually passed it gomez goes for the chip over the keeper but just over the bar this time gomez is going to come and collect what can we find with him he is a big old unit what can we find he feels very very agile for such a big player definitely feels that kind of Almost that agility side of him. He, he just, he's able to move. How tall is he? He was. If this guy's going to play. He was six foot. So under the cusp of, of kind of like that 6'2 stiff feeling. Whereas he does feel very nice to kind of have the move. Obviously not the greatest agility in the world. But I mean for a striker of his size. Obviously with that head and accuracy as well. A very very nice versatile unit as a striker there. Given multiple options of how he's going to score. And how he can beat players as well. Finds him in. So we can see the pace from him as well. Like I say, being such a big striker, we're going to find him offside. Doesn't manage to beat the keeper to the ball anyway. Still got it with Gomez. So what I mean is his kind of dribbling side of stuff is fantastic. He's managing to get through again. Going to hit and hope. De Gea is going to go through. He was hoping to maybe get a little bit of curve on it, but unfortunately not. But we do manage to quell that kind of counter opportunity with a slide from Gomez, the man. Into Gomez. Can he get the shot off? It is beautiful. Strength, aggression, reaction time was all there for that goal. Manages to get the, the ball early. Gets it past the defender. He's got the strength to beat Fulham Mendy off. And then he just fires one home. Great goal from Gomez. And he's on the ball again. It's I think it's, it's accelerated. His acceleration technically is better, which is weird that it seems that that's kind of like... Not necessarily the disadvantage, but I feel like he's better at kind of the prolonged speed than the just straight off acceleration side of stuff. Into Guenka. Go on, he's going to see it in Gomez. What we're going to find, it's Gomez versus Gomez. Oh, he's done him over. That little bit of dribbling. You can see there that lovely left stick dribbling. He has got the ability, obviously. A better player will be able to do a hell of a lot more. And to be honest, I can do better left stick dribbling. But it's not every opportunity. You're not going to be able to do it completely 100% right. But you know that the capability is there. And he has got a little bit of movement on him. So it's always nice to see that from such a big striker. Like I say, my man Gomez. Honestly, what a fantastic striker this is. And I think, 
I'd hate to say it. I think he's better than Edouard. I, I liked Edouard and I thought he was decent. I thought he was, he was a decent striker. He was never meant to be this cracked out striker. But I think Gomez is incredible. He's actually a really nice striker. For some reason, being six foot and quite a big stocky player, his agility is really nice. I normally play with these cards and I thought straight off the bat, six foot, we've got a lot of strength, we've got the head in. He's more towards kind of the, the kind of stand play, the Giroud type football. Give him a shot from like a standing piece, it's going to absolutely whack it. You give him kind of a running task, he may not be as good. Honestly, he did it all. Absolutely fantastic. A very, very good underrated gem, I'm going to say. 50k for him, obviously, is going to drop down as we get guaranteed, as we get rewards, and then obviously into lightning rounds. Because what you've got to think with these, these don't run out until Monday, the Saudi team in general. They don't run out until Monday, so Friday and Saturday, they're going to get packed left, right, and center with all the lightning rounds. So make sure it, it doesn't apply to you with the, the first day rewards anymore because they come out on the Monday. So this is the first step of obviously the next minor league will uh, come to place on Monday. These will go out on Monday. So you've still got the lightning rounds and that's going to be the best place if you want to pick up any of these at their, ma at their complete max min price. And I feel like Gomis will go down like considerably probably to only the point where an 89 is the cheapest I don't see him going any further than that because we are going to need team of the seasons in SPCs in guarantees but I don't see it changing the price too much these are going to be very very cheap I feel like you can already get the squad for about eight nine hundred thousand and literally that is crazy already it's barely been day one and obviously the the main kind of pack that's been opened at the moment is the premier league so it's not even lightning rounds and we have seen them absolutely destroyed in that drop but hopefully gomis i'd be happy with for the guaranteed obviously everyone will want benega or roman Reno. we will be trying benega out very very soon i think that's going to be tomorrow's with a long sbc or anything like that and we will continue the premier league so if you want to like and subscribe gomis for me is coming in at a solid 8.9 out of 10 let me know down below what you think about him make sure you like and subscribe on this video again muchly appreciated i'll see you off the next one pieces